Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome back to TCM and more of our salute to Columbia Pictures celebrating its 100th anniversary in 2024. Up next, a blockbuster from 1977 that became one of the biggest hits Columbia Pictures ever produced, written and directed by Steven Spielberg, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Richard Dreyfus leads the cast as Roy Neary, an electrical lineman who sets out to investigate a large-scale power outage. What he discovers is a UFO, an unidentified flying object. The discovery changes his life, changes his family's life. He becomes obsessed with what he's seen and soon learns he isn't the only one who has experienced this kind of close encounter. Concept for the film had been on Steven Spielberg's mind from the time he was a kid. He developed the idea initially as a teenager in an amateur film about UFOs and a scientist who tries to convince the government they really exist. Finally, thanks to the record-breaking financial success of Jaws in 1975, Spielberg was able to negotiate a deal with Columbia to turn his idea into a big-budget feature. The lead role went to Dreyfus, who had also starred in Jaws for Spielberg. During production on Jaws, Dreyfus said he not so subtly lobbied Spielberg for the role in Close Encounters. Dreyfus said he'd walk by Spielberg's office and mutter criticisms of other great actors under his breath, like, Robert De Niro's too serious. Al Pacino lacks the wonder of a young boy. His plan, though certainly amusing, was almost certainly unnecessary. Dreyfus was pretty clearly Spielberg's top choice. 1977 also marked the year Dreyfus made The Goodbye Girl, which earned him the Academy Award for Best Actor. Close Encounters earned eight Oscar nominations and won Vilmos Sigmund the Academy Award for Best Cinematography. Another nomination went to composer John Williams, who now has 53 Oscar nominations to his credit. The cast is talented and varied. There's Melinda Dillon, also nominated for Best Supporting Actress, as well as the great Terry Garr, Bob Balaban, and by special invitation from Steven Spielberg, French director Francois Truffaut plays the scientist. This is the only credited acting role of Truffaut's career, aside from when he acted in films he directed. You're about to see Steven Spielberg's director's cut, the longest version of the film, which includes a few scenes added after the original release. More on that after the movie. Here it is from Columbia Pictures in 1977, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. According to Steven Spielberg, the original version of Close Encounters was rushed into movie theaters by Columbia Pictures before Spielberg felt the film was ready. As he later put it, I kind of felt like I was being pushed into finishing the movie based on huge corporate matters, which I had no ability to comprehend. Something about Columbia facing bankruptcy. The release did turn out to be a solid financial move. The movie became a colossal hit, but Spielberg still didn't think it was a sound creative decision. A year and a half later, he went back to the studio and asked for permission and money to finish the film the way he wanted. Columbia agreed on one condition. Spielberg had to add a scene at the very end showing the inside of the alien mothership that previously was seen solely from the outside. Spielberg didn't like the idea, but he filmed it, and this second version released to theaters in 1980 was dubbed the special edition. Then, almost two decades later, Spielberg got the final word when he re-edited the picture one more time, taking out that mothership scene and combining his favorite elements from the two earlier versions. This director's cut, released in 1998, is the version you just saw. Coming up, Robert De Niro stars in a psychological thriller from Columbia, released in 1976, directed by Martin Scorsese, co-starring Jodie Foster, Harvey Keitel, Albert Brooks, and Sybil Shepard. Taxi Driver is next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, Taxi Driver, then Funny Girl, and later, The China Syndrome. Don't have a meltdown. TCM's on all night. 